Hi everyone, we're here at John Sellers Auto Repair and we have a 2002 Ford F-150 with a 4.2 liter V6. Customers complain, check engine lights on, it runs really bad, really rough. So I have a lot of codes. I have ignition coil malfunction, PO353, PO174, um, bank 2 is too lean, then P316 and misfire within the first thousand revolutions, and P0306 misfire on number six cylinder. So I went through all the checking everything out, and the coil had a good spark coming out of it, but it had a code for a malfunction with the coil. So I pulled the spark plug wire off, had a good spark coming out. I put my plug wire tester on the wire with the engine running, and it had zero kilovolts. But when I pulled the wire off and go directly to the coil with the spark tester, the coil is putting out 25,000 kV, no problem. So I traced along the wire and just pulled on the wire. And what I found out from the consumer is they recently had the transmission replaced and it ran rough after that. And then after that, they replaced the spark plugs with some Bosch Platinum spark plugs, which don't work too good in Fords. So it ran even worse. So what happened is when they put the transmission back in, the spark plug wires that are on here are aftermarket and they were too long, some of them put them back in the holders, and when they pushed the transmission back in, they pushed it in on number six spark plug wire, and they smashed the wire between the engine block and the transmission. So, that's a little tip from John Sadler, you got to be so careful, and when I'm doing this job, just like my other videos, we have Motorcraft spark plug wires, and we have Motorcraft spark plugs. That way we're not gonna have any issues, this motor is pretty difficult because these wires are super long. You can see how long these are. This goes from the passenger side cylinder head, then it goes around the back of the intake manifold to the other side. So it's all put on by feel. So when they put the transmission in, that's when they created the problem. But it was kind of hard to figure out because we had spark in the coil, nothing coming out the wire. And then you go to the spark plug end, there's nothing coming out on the spark plug. And so that's when I found the wire was just smashed in between the transmission and the bell housing uh, back of the motor. So it's one of those things that you have to be very careful. You kind of pay for what you get. There was a bolt missing uh, that goes from the bell housing to the motor also. The drain plug where you drain the transmission fluid, it's a little bit wet, the bottom of it, the fluid looks old. So I'm not sure who he had to do the service or, or what the reason behind everything was. But uh, we're going to fix the problem for him, put some new spark plugs and new spark plug wires, clear the codes, go test drive it, make sure it runs good. And uh, just another tip, you never know what might happen when you look at a car, uh, some things you'll find. And I said, we'll have to loosen the transmission to get the spark plug wire off. And he said, at this point, he wants to just leave it the way it is. And um, I don't really think it's going to hurt anything. It's just not right. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.